The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Savannah District manages three dam and lake projects on the upper Savannah River Basin along the Georgia-South Carolina border. Located between the Thurmond and Hartwell projects lies the Richard B. Russell Dam and Lake near Elberton, Georgia. During a visit there, Colonel Jeff Hall spoke with team members about the unique aspects of hydropower generation using nighttime pump back operations. It's a dam that has a hydropower component and it's a very unique facility. It's one of two in our division and it's one of a very few number in the Corps of Engineers. And it has pump back units which allows us to pump water from a lower reservoir back in up behind the dam so we can use that water multiple times over to generate power and also meet the demands of the downstream users. Like many folks say, this is one of the gems of Savannah District because of our pump back capability and what that means to uh, power generation in the region. And just a few minutes ago, we started up uh, Unit 3. And using Unit 3, we actually initiated pump operations with Unit 7. At nighttime, with real cheap electricity, we're able to use that electricity and put water back into Russell. So tomorrow, when energy goes up, peak demand comes online when people are using power, we'll have that water available to produce that power. And it really helps as far as the overall efficiency of the overall water system in the Savannah District. The Corps is concerned about the prized inhabitants of the reservoir system and has methods in place to minimize fish entrainment. Entrainment of fish actually means that we're moving fish from the lower reservoir, which is J. Strong Thurman Lake, up into the upper reservoir, which is Richard B. Russell Lake. It doesn't necessarily mean that the fish are harmed. It just means that they're moved from one reservoir to another. Um, the, way, the things that we do to try to minimize entrainment is we've installed these fish attraction lights which are intended to move the fish away from the intake so they won't be susceptible to entrainment. We've also installed a high frequency sound system directly in front of the pump storage intakes and that sound system is designed to deter fish from, from that area. So again, they won't be susceptible to entrainment. Um, in addition, we've installed some bar screens on the intakes of the units. These bar screens exclude fish that are greater than 8 inches. So any fish that we do in train are, of course, then limited to, to smaller individuals. I get the privilege of helping to manage fishery resources. I work very closely with South Carolina and Georgia DNR. We, we do our best to maximize uh, fishery resources in all three of these reservoirs on the Savannah for the enjoyment of our visitors. Um, we, our goal is to sustain these fisheries for, for generations to come. Pumpback not only delivers clean, renewable hydropower, the Corps can also reuse water to help sustain lake elevations. Pumpback gives flexibility in managing the system's water resources. We're all, always trying to balance the projects with respect to one another so that we, we impact the, the users evenly at, at Thurman and at Hartwell and at Russell. Um, we're trying to meet all of the authorized project purposes, meaning uh, hydropower, recreation, uh, fish and wildlife, um, our navigation, which is pretty much inactive, but occasionally we do have to move a barge up the river. Flood control is big for us, uh, water supply and water quality. The Corps manages the Upper Savannah River Basin as one system with checks and balances in place to weigh all facets of water management.